Good morning, Facebook friends. My name is Andrea Freeman. I'm a school-based occupational therapist, and I wanted to take a moment while we are all on quarantine and in isolation um, to kind of just go over a few tips at home that you can do with your kids as far as fine motor skills. And today is all about the wall. Um, when we talk about putting things on a wall, I want to show, show you exactly why it's important. Um, when you put something on the wall and come follow me, so let's say I'm going to color this cloud. Come with me. All you need is just a piece of paper and some tape. When you put something on a vertical surface, you'll hear us talk about that, and it's going to be up high for me because I'm a little bit taller. When you put something on a vertical surface, it changes the angle. Um, and that's really important for your wrist. And we talk about that a lot. There is, um, a, it's not a phenomenon, but it's an anatomical reasoning behind that. What happens when you extend your wrist is that your fingers come up into a natural pinch position. It's called a tenodesis grasp. You don't need to worry about that, but I'm gonna show you when you hold a pencil and you color on a wall or write on a wall or put stickers on a wall, you're gonna see what my hand does. So hang on just a minute, let me get my crayon. Okay, so I'm gonna go color this wall or write on this wall and I'm just gonna use a regular, cray a regular crayon piece and we'll talk about crayon pieces later. And um, here's a crayon piece. What you can do, again, if, I'm, if I am down here, if you can see the angle, if you can bring that over a little bit, please. If you can see the angle, if I'm down here, riding on a typical surface, my wrist is not cocked up into extension. But when I put something on a vertical surface or on the wall, first of all, my eyes are there, my head is there, my shoulders are back, so I'm in a better position. And watch what my wrist does. It immediately kicks back so I can use more of a tripod grasp. So this is why in therapy, we do a lot of work on the wall. So see how that does? I can't hold it like that. I mean, I could, if, I mean, kids are creative and they do, but you can just kind of um, give them a cue, show them, kick that wrist back in extension, and that will help with the development of a tripod grasp. Hi, Facebook friends. This is Andrea Freeman, and I'm here to show you today about washing a car. What's so fun about washing a car? Well, first of all, we are outside. It's a gorgeous day. It involves water, it involves laughter, sunshine, which is, which is really cool. Um, washing a car is a good way to get some sensory input as well as getting your car clean. So it's really great both ways. Um, I would say if you were working with a little preschooler, a little child, make sure you use some sort of no tears type of um, soap. That way if they do get it on them or in their eyes, they're not going to be blinded for life. Um, another thing you want to make sure that you do is understand that people are going to get wet, it's going to get messy, but it's going to have, have, we're going to have a whole lot of fun. So I've already got my uh, bucket ready. This this is a sponge from the 1970s um, that I borrowed from my father, but yeah, it still works. Yeah, now look, look at all of what I got to do. I got to squeeze. I got to use my hand muscles to get in there and squeeze. Look at all the good soap. Oh my goodness, and the sponge is falling apart. And then I come over here, and then I put it on, and, and I'm like this tall, and I squeeze, and I can use both hands, and I can use one hand. And then I get it all over me. And then I come back over again and dip it. You could make it a race. You're squeezing it. And come over here and look how nice I can do. Watch this, guys. Watch what I can do. I can even do downwards. Come on this way. Watch, watch, watch. I can even write. I can do zip, 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 zip. I can come back and do zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, it's going good. I can come over here. I can go circle and stop. Circle and stop. I can use big movements. I can use little tiny movements. I can come over this side. Come on, stay with me, stay with me. I can see my reflection. I can say, get your face, get your face. That's right, I can work on my letters. I can work on my stability. I can work on a lot of things. Even if you have a learner who is, or your child who might be, um, unable to walk very well, get them in a place like in their chair or in a stroller 
where they can be supported in their trunk so they're using their upper extremities and make it as easy and fun as possible okay so oops, here come the sunglasses so you guys get out there today clean the car do some pre-writing strokes write your letters write your numbers squeeze the 1970s sponge and have a great day Today I'm going to show you some awesome ball activities that you can do to help with proximal strengthening. Let me put my sunglasses on, it's getting bright. As far as proximal strengthening, what do we mean by that? We mean any mus muscle that is up in your shoulder girdle that is going to help provide stability to your shoulder, okay? So your shoulder goes through a lot of movements every day. We have to have strong shoulder girdles. We have to have a strong core in order to complete distal fine motor activity. So this is one of the fun things um, that I like to do. All right, so let me show you. And today, hold your horses. It's all about the Avengers. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay, Meredith is gonna help me. Oops. Mary's just gonna help me. We're gonna start with a ball. You can get any ball you want. You wanna try to get it um, on, a, on a pathway so you know that you and your partner are working together, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is called overhead stabilization and it is called the Hulk Smash. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Here we go. You're gonna hold it. Three, two, one, Hulk Smash! Hold it, hold it up over your head. Three, two, one, Hulk smash. Good, ready? Three, two, one, Hulk smash. Go. Three, two, one. Woo, that's a good one. Okay, one more time, ready? Three, two, one, Hulk smash. Three, two, one, Hulk smash. Good job. Okay, so that's working the shoulder movement, okay? And that whole proximal stability. The next thing we're gonna do is the Iron Man. Iron Man has two thrusters here to help him fly and defend, defend us. All right, that's what we're gonna be doing right now. You ready? Get your Iron Man's up. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let Mary throw it to me first. Ready? You're gonna throw it to my chest hard. Yep, ready? There we go. Good job. Good job. All right, now let me do it to you. Okay, ready? Ready, go. Nice. Yep, ready, big push. Nice, one more, big push to me. Nice, okay, and then the last one we're gonna do is the Black Panther. How's the Black Panther pose? He poses like this, with his claws out. This is about catching and tightening the muscles in your chest and in your shoulders. So this is what we're gonna do. You can do it to me first. You're gonna throw it to me real quick. Wow! And you're gonna have those arms open like that. And you might wanna come this way so you can see what my arms are doing. Okay, ready? All right, you ready, Mayor? Here we go, one, two, three, go! You didn't growl. <laughs> come on, push it. <laughs> Ready? Let me see those Black Panther claws. Ready? Go! Ah, come on! Ah, one more. Come on. Big. Come on. Oh! Ah. Okay. Now, this, these are for these exercises, these activities rather, are for older kids simply that can take a medium to large size ball. If you want to do um, another one, you can use a little small ball. Um, and you can get closer to your partner. So you can do just a light Black Panther ready, go. You can also do an overhead stabilization. Hulk smash. Oh, you didn't say Hulk smash. Hulk smash. Yep. There we go. And you can also do an Iron Man. Okay, ready, go. Nice. Yeah, this might be for people who are a little bit more advanced. And then this one here floats. It floats, so it's gonna be for your earlier learners. And then what you wanna do is we're just gonna catch. Okay, ready, I want you to catch. They might not understand Avengers or any of this, so you just want them to catch. Ready, 
catch. Ready, go. Good job, ready, catch. See how it floats? You got a little bit of wait time. Catch, whoops, ready, catch. Um, you can also do the Hulk smash. Boom. Yep, and see how it kind of wiggles? Boom. Come on, slam it. Boom, good job. Good job, now push it back like Iron Man. Push, nice. So there's some ball activities for you. Hope you guys enjoy this beautiful day we've got today. Let me know what you think.